for coming back to our channel. We have something special for you. We are making a homemade cheese pizza. And it's yeah. all authentic. If you look that out, Whole Foods, um, uh, what about a Whole Foods? Then you'll know that it's all homemade. Just yeah. trying to check him into no more pizza food. No more CCs. No more store-bought pizza. Just home. Because we don't deal with dominoes. But yeah. Domino. So I'm gonna be cooking with my baby. Cooking with my baby. Cooking, 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 cooking with my baby. You gonna be cooking with your mama? Yeah. Cooking with my mama. mama. Cooking with my mama. mama. All right, you guys. So we're gonna see you in the next, 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 and welcome to Andrea E Vlog. So we are learning how to make homemade yeah. pizza dough. Yeah. And this is going to be just a blend, you know, because we are making a, a cheese pizza from scratch today. And yeah. we're excited. We're happy. And we want you to come along with us and see um, how we make this homemade pizza dough blend. And I have never <laughs> made this before, you guys. So... So, so, that boy right there, he just get a little loud and a little energetic and a little energized. Like, he has so much energy, like his mama. So, uh, I hope that my ninja can process all this stuff in it and make it a dough ball or whatever it's supposed yeah. to be. So, um, if not, then I don't know what else I'm going to do. Yeah. Maybe get a bowl or something and just blend it in there with my hands. Because I like to get messy in the kitchen, la, la, la. So yeah, let's let's see what I have here. And I have the instructions right here. So basically you need for your homemade pizza dough blend is um oh yeah you guys and the prep time on this pizza dough blend will be 10 minutes. So you guys let's go ahead and get into this. So I have my uh, flour here and it's asking for one a cup and a half of flour, so we're gonna do that. So first I'm going to start with one cup of flour. And I'm going to do exactly what it says, one cup of flour. And I'm just going to smooth this out just to see if I have one cup of flour. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. Being bad. Ashton. So I have my one cup of flour here. So I'm gonna dump that in there. And then one half a cup of flour. I'm sure you probably don't have to use the other flour here because it looks like maybe maybe we need to use another flour. I thought it would be like um There's more flour. No, I got it right here. That's not flour, that's sugar flour. I just want to get it to what it's saying. So I got a half a cup of flour right here. Whoa. Knock that all down. Now we need one cup of wheat flour. So I got my wheat flour here. Yeah. We're making some homemade pizza dough. Yes. All right, so here we go. We got a cup of this. I guess I should put this over here so you guys can see it. And I would recommend like using wheat flour over any flour because it's like a nice, good flour. I'm gonna take some of this out because I know that it's about to get messy in here, y'all. I know that. Um, okay, yeah, I'm right at a cup. Oh, I hope my uh, ninja, ninja, all this can handle all this. Oh. So we need a half. Okay, hold on. 
and this is more than a half, so. <laughs> Y'all, I definitely don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I have to start somewhere. That's a half cup. Okay. So I'm just using the Pyrex uh, measuring cup here. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is add two teaspoons of sugar, and I have some right here. And then I have my um, my sugar in the raw right here. So I'm gonna use that. Um, I've just been using the packets of these. So I use like two packets, but I wanna make sure that these are teaspoons. Okay, so I have to add or take anything away. And this is right on the right on the money right here. So another teaspoon of that. And then we have to add our dry active yeast, which I have right here. This there's, there's a lot of them. I do it. Stop, please. And we are doing a good job. A good job. One and a half teaspoon of dry active yeast. And this will be this and spoon this. here. This for boys. I'll put it right here. Thank you. Uh, this for so boys. Just do one of these. These you put it in my these No, let's we'll put that right there. And so now we blend it all up. Come on, Ninja. I know that you can do this. I just hope I don't break the Ninja. So we mixing this up. We're going to mix it all up. Go in there actually and scrape the sides of the blender for your mixing bowl. And if you want to use your hands, get in there. Uh, I'm not afraid. I just want something easy to do today. I, I did it my little spoon. Okay. No, Ashton. What I tell you about being safe in the kitchen? My son's a really hint. Very much hands on type of person. So. so, you guys know we need to add some water into the blender. And it's going to form a nice little dough. I was supposed to be measuring these. So with water, we need to do a cup and uh, one third of water. So let's do a cup. One cup, right here. Turn your, while you're uh, holding your um, ninja down to process everything, start pouring in your water real slow so that you can form a dough ball. One third of, uh, I need, yeah, I need one third of water. Ashton, please stop. Ashton! My son will be acting like sometimes he just don't want to listen. So we're going to do this again with one third. Right, you guys. 
guys, so we have made the um, dough. So now we need to make, add some vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vegetable oil. That's one four. That's one teaspoon. And instead of vegetable oil, I am definitely going to use uh, my olive oil here. And I'm gonna do that. No, Ashton. I'm trying to get it out and it's, oh no it's not. So I'm going to put that in there while it's going. Or I'm going to take this off and just put it all in there once. And knowing me, I like my olive oil, so I'm going to put two. I'm gonna be naughty, you guys. And I'm gonna put two spoons of this in there. Yes, I'm being disobedient. And then um, we are going to put one and a half teaspoons of salt. So I got the half, and then I got my teaspoon right here. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do, you guys, is put my Himalaya salt in this I really don't want it too salty so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna even measure it but I'm just gonna go ahead and put some in here just don't want my door my dough really salty and then I'm gonna put this back on here you guys you can do anything with the ninja you really can. You can do anything with a ninja. So I'm going to turn it back on. Look at that dough right there, you guys. I made it. So you guys, I made this dough. Yes, I did. It's my first time ever making dough. And I'm so proud of myself, you guys. Look at that. Let me take this out of here. Oh, man. Look at that. Get all that goodness out of there. I am so proud of myself. You proud of mommy Ashley? She made this. So you guys, I'm just gonna throw some of my wheat flour on this surface. So I can form this into a ball. You don't wanna put too much. No, no, no. Too much wheat down there. A uh, flour in there. So I'm gonna grease my pan. No, no, no. And just roll it in the ball. It doesn't have to be like all pretty and all that stuff. Just roll it to where it can rest. And we're gonna actually let this dough rest for 10 minutes before we can use it. And then we're gonna be right back. So I'm gonna put this on there. Make sure you put a plastic, um, a plastic little uh, foil. Um, oh yeah, you can use little foil, use plastic wrap on top of this and let it rest for 10 minutes. It says that you have to at least let it rest for up to three days, but we are eating this tonight, so uh, I'm sure it's going to be really, really fine to do that. So, all right, stick around, you guys. Who's there? Why? Ashton, he's the only one behind the door. So what kind of funny joke are we having today? Nana who? Nana's outside playing in her garden? Oh. <laughs> you guys, thank you for coming back, sticking around. So, that's Ashton. You know I'm Andrea E. Yeah, high five, high five. That's my son. That's my mama. And we love you guys. 
So we are making pizza sauce. So we got the door. The dough is still oh, yeah. chilling in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. Pizza sauce. But uh. Okay, so yeah, we are making pizza sauce right now in the kitchen. And um, yeah. the things that I'm gonna be using for our pizza sauce, we yeah. want our pizza sauce to be kind of sweet, but not not super sweet. So I am putting three packs of my in sugar in the raw. And then I am using a can of um, Italian herb sauce. Yes, and then I am soaking my tomatoes so that they can chop well and my garlic so that they can chop well as well. So we are going to do that. And then of course you guys know I'm going to be using this extra version all the all. Yeah. And I'm not measuring anything so I'm sure it's going to come out nice. And tasty. So again, we're using my ninja because you know I love my ninja. So I'm just gonna open that up. And remember, these these um sugars in a raw are one teaspoon a piece. I'm gonna pour this in there. This is the I add just a tad bit of water and I'm going to swing it around. Put that in there. Get all that good seasoning in there. Then I'm going to chop up my tomato. You can shut, um, dice them in small bits chunky bits, but since I got the ninja, I'm just going to chop them in four. Also, make sure you be careful when you're chopping because I almost chopped my finger off or probably would have cut it. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. And then this is the garlic that I have here. Ah, ah. This is hot water. This is hot so water. So I'm going to smash this garlic and get all this extra off of it and soaking in warm like water is going to get all that shell off of there easier than just um trying to i normally just soak it for like five or ten minutes you guys but i feel like it is Try good right it. now because i've gotten basically all that sh shell casing off of there and i'm going to chop off the end of that we don't need that and I'm just gonna cut this into four put it in there because once again our ninja is gonna do it we love garlic around here I don't know about in your house but we are, are like garlic fans here so I'm gonna use um, um probably about four garlics make sure you cut in four you can chop it up if you want to do that extra work I'm not These are just baby garlics right here, so. I'm just gonna put that in half. Run out? No, I didn't run out. Thank you for being a good helper today. I like when you help me and get in trouble. Not bad trouble, but good trouble. stop, please. So I'm just gonna put that in half as well. So I'm gonna pour some more oil in there. I'll do some oil, please. I'm move all the stuff over. I'm not measuring the oil. I'm just pouring. No, stop. Okay, you can have mine. Here you go. And I said stop, stop, okay? Stop. I did it. 
And then I'm going to use a couple of my seasonings. I did it, Robert. I would tell y'all, but I can't. I'm just going to use like a teaspoon of each. And these are seasons I have mixed up myself and tried. And everybody has tried. Mommy has to do this one, okay? Okay. Now we're going to put the top on our food processor. Do you want to help me blend it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Kids, before you start using this machine, the Ninja, make sure you have your parents around you. And this is not for the teens, but for our little, your little baby kids. So press. Press. So we have a nice pizza sauce for you. Get it to the stairs. So all the water gone, right, Mama? Right. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's sauce. Sauce. Yeah. Sauce, sauce. It's pizza. All right, we'll be right back with our pizza dough. <laughs> I just spread out the pizza dough. Yeah. Make sure you spray your pizza, uh, pizza pan with, or a regular pan, because this is a regular pan with uh, yeah. non-stick spray. Like this. I just made in the ninja. I honestly hope that you guys, that was disgusting. Try this sauce at home. I don't know if you like a lot of sauce or a little sauce. I like to make it. I like to do it. I still spread it everywhere. Don't fall, Baba. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, you guys, this sauce right here is good for spaghetti as well because this sauce is really good. Don't stick your hands in there. Here, right there. That's nasty. My son got his first letter in the mail. An AT and T. Um, Mail. This is the mail of huh? hot. After I put all this on there, I just want to let it sit for a little bit. Just for like two minutes. We're going to have to cover our pizza with sauce. Yeah. Saucy. That's enough. And then I also went and got some 
some fresh basil that I'm gonna put in here as well. You can put whatever you want in your pizza, pepperoni, turkey pepperoni. Please I do it. Whatever you want to put, Please you can I put it. it. Ashton, mommy's doing this pizza. Here we can save this banana because she likes the garden. No, come back here because I don't know if she's outside. We'll just wait for her to come back inside. We can save that one for her too. But she likes to regarden, regrow everything. Okay, and that's enough basil for us. And then we have our mozzarella. I'm probably going to put mushroom on my side of the pizza because I like all that good stuff. So we have our mozzarella right here that I'm going to grate on here. You guys, I'm also going to be using this um, test into the wish.com um, slicer as well. And that's this one, you guys. So let's see how that goes. And... Pretty much a dud. What happened to it? Oh, right there. So I'm going to use this right here. This little grater that I got from the Dollar Tree. My trusted Dollar Store. Dollar Tree. Look what it's doing, y'all. I can always count on the Dollar Tree. And if you get some big pieces in here, don't worry about it. Cause it's all gonna melt. And I should have got me a grater while I was out, but um, yeah, it's okay. It's that fresh cheese. Y'all, I'm having difficulties with this cheese. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Cheese whacking everywhere. <laughs> Just forgot about the grater, the cheese grater. After I put some of this fresh mozza on here, I'm going to put some uh, of my house cheese on here. And my parmesan. So my mushrooms will like go here, you guys. Hey, 
you missing you making a mess. And the recipe said that you have to put it in the stove for like 400 degrees, but I'm going to just put mine in there for 350. Just let it cook by its lonesome and take your time, brown on top, and then we're going to be right back. making a fresh garden salad. We put some onions in here. You can put how much onions you want. I'm crying like a baby over here because I don't do onions. And these are quite strong. Let me wipe my surface down here. Here's my tomato. Sorry guys, I have to fix you right. And I got the eggs falling over there. Okay, that's our salad. You can put whatever you like in your salad. And this is a tomato. And you can keep these on the side if you want to, if you don't want all the juices inside of there. But we're going to turn this all up today. I'm going to eat all our salad today. I'm not going to put a lot of tomato in there. This is another red tomato. Ice and clean. Pizza. Let's show the pizza people what people what the pizza looks like. Ah, oh, yum yum! It looks so good and gorgeous, you guys. Now it's done. It's not that done. We still have to wait for it to finish. I like to see. Cause I like my pizza like Mama, done and good. Mama, you got to see you check it out. Mama, I see you. That's it. Mama, you got to I'm gonna see I'm going to put some of my mixed seasoning in there. You don't have to eat this salad. That's your salad. It's all of our salads. What you say? A little bit of oil. That's our salad? Mm-hmm. I love salad. I like pizza. But salad is good for you. I want it. That's yours. I'm going to do three tablespoons of oil. So they can coat all the salad. I'm not going to mix it until I put the eggs in the salad. That's my little spoon. That's my little spoon. That's not your spoon. And then that's my little spoon. Drop it on the That's my little. Okay. And this is our salad here. Nom, nom, nom. 
We'll be right back to put the eggs because they're not done yet. Thank you guys, it's done. It is time for lunch time or dinner time. We have our homemade, we have our salad here. We have our homemade pizza. Let me show you guys the pizza though. It's nice and brown. It looks so yummy and delicious. And it's fresh and it's all made from scratch let's try this pizza you ready to try it, ashton since you helped me cook it yeah Here, you try it try it mm. Mm. you guys this is so good So you guys, get in the kitchen with your kids, have some fun, and take your time making yourself a homemade pizza, you guys. And we thank you for joining us. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. This is so good. Please subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. And happy eating.